Hello everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw Common Rider 555. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. It's supposed to fly away. Uh, but for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Okay, am I saying it right? Five, five, five? Fives? Five hundred fifty-five? Five and five fives? 55 okay look y you know what I'm saying you, you're obviously you're here because you you get it so I'm just gonna stop saying that and making it up and, and talking crazy now uh, okay so um, I got a pose for him I know where I want to go with this I'm just gonna just get him there real fast I'm trying not to go super long I always go super long with the legs it's just uh, like dr that dramatic pose, you know? Um, I always go way too long, so I'm trying to wrangle that in. Um, but also, the reason I'm picking this pose too is because if you look at him from a certain angle, I've seen some really cool pictures that the, the top of his head, the, the eyes, so to speak, if he looks at you just the right way, it's a perfect circle. Now, I'm not gonna draw a perfect circle, I can't, you know, not, I can try, absolutely I'll try, but um, it, it just, it looked really cool to me, and so I thought it would be really neat if we uh, if we did it like that. So, that's what I'm going for, the, the, the perfect circle face. Okay, so, let's see, for this hand, I'm just gonna go straight out. For some reason, um, I have been uh, drawing very dramatic hands, or not hands, uh, um, arms, and so this is one I kind of see the same way. It's like, ooh, his hand's just sticking straight out like this because he's in a fighting pose. I don't know why. I don't know why, because it's not really a fighting pose sticking your hand out like that. So, it's just dramatic. I just, I just like it, you know? But also, you're practicing your anatomy, so I'm not, I'm not complaining. You're getting a little workout. That's how I look at it. I'm your, I'm your, uh, your coach giving you a workout, and uh, you know if you don't like it, give me, give me five burpees. You know, get to give me five uh, two-minute sketches. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start like a, a coach, coach, uh, coach draw, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yell at you. I gotta call you by your last name too, Melman. Or whatever your last name is give me five five minute sketches two second sketch you know I'm gonna start uh, getting on to you like that I, I like being your friend I like being uh, uh, happy about everything and whatnot but now I'm gonna start to be um, not mean I guess <laughs> that's not the word I was trying to go for but the uh, the yelling coach you know that calls you by your last name Inglethorpe Give me 20 uh, hand sketches now. Go, go, go. Yeah, I gotta think of that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, be your, your, your life coach. You know, your life drawing coach is what I'm gonna be. All right, I think that's gonna work. Let me work on the head. Oh, and you know what? If you're watching this, um, you can now watch all the common writer, uh, or you know, I, I say I say all of them, but it's probably not all of them. Um, um, I can't remember who does it right now, but if you if you search common writer in on YouTube, you will find um, um, the 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 shows posted. But I mean, they're all sub subtitled, so you know, um, a little bit of reading, but that's okay. You know, you know we always got to read and practice and. And, and keep our chops up, but uh, you can watch them. So I'm excited about that. All right, so there, see, it's not a perfect circle. It's not what I'm doing. But if it looks at you just the right way, it's 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 a pretty, 
pretty perfectly round, I guess is what I'm trying to say. As opposed to, you know, if, if he looks at you a different way, it's not quite perfect like that. So I just thought that was really cool and I wanted to draw him that way. Alright, so let me get a little bit of the detail here in the center. Hey, I think that's gonna work. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, okay, let's get going. Let me erase some of this. Um, all I need are the the uh, confidence lines, not the sketch lines, and that'll get us going. And what I mean by that, if you're new here, is as I was drawing, as I was sketching, I was just throwing lines down, kind of trying to get me to where I was going. The more confident I get, the darker my lines got, and I pressed harder, and those are my more confident lines. Now, it's gonna take more to erase the confidence than it is the sketchiness, and that's good because, like life, you wanna follow your confidence, not the sketchiness. So, I think that's gonna work right there. And plus, if I, it, it, whoop, 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 I can't talk. Um, I want to, I want the Sharpie to stand out and not the pencil line. So for me, this is what I want. I want that to disappear. If you're working with pencil, you just start pushing harder. You start, you start adding more confidence. That's what you're going to start doing. Okay, here we go. Let's welcome everybody that skipped. Welcome skippers. Welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm going to be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen, mostly the fine point, but the pen's a little finer than the fine point and can find the things that a fine point can't quite find. Sketch the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of it, but left myself a ghost of an image that I can use to guide my Sharpies in this common writer adventure. So I think I'm going to start with the Sharpie pen and the fine point. What I mean by that is I'm going to use mostly this, but I'm going to add some detail. Usually I use this for the eyes, but I don't need it right now. Um, Let's see if I can get this head down. Let's see what we can do here. I want to do this. I want to do this. Let's try that. So the other thing is I've got the head pointed just right at you that it's almost a perfect circle. So let's see if we can get that down first. Let's do the center like this. Okay. And it's not going to be a perfect circle. That's okay. Don't get upset about that. I'm not. So I'm going to try, but it's not going to be perfect. That's okay. But I'm also following my sketch. So see, it's not perfect around, but there we go. Not too bad, right? Oh, I didn't touch. Hmm. Yeah, you don't say. I'm gonna go and clean it up a little bit. That is a lesson in don't let your past dictate your future. Just because your line is right there, you're the creator. You're the one who gets to design how it looks. So don't worry about that. You just do what you got to do to make it look the way you need to. Okay. There you go. Just kind of cleaning that up a little bit. Perfect. Okay. So now I'm going to add the sharp, use the Sharpie fine point to add some of this fine detail in the center. Um, he does have, let's see if I can do this. Like another layer, super thin. Going up like that. Another one on a parallel to that line like this. And this is gonna make the uh, um, little antenna like that. Now it's a red line that goes around there, but I can't draw perfectly around. We're just gonna use it to accent this middle part like that. And I'm gonna thicken it up a little bit too. I just wanted to kind of define a little bit of uh, this, this middle design with uh, a little bit of, of cool um, space lines. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but um, it's got a really neat design. I just wanted to accent that. So because this is so thick, I want to try to thicken this up just a little bit just to match it. Just a little bit.
There we go. Perfect. Okay, not perfect, but it's good enough to make me happy. That's what I'm gonna say. So, I'm gonna draw the rest of his helmet here, and so I wanted to find the outer edge like this. I'm try to clean that up a little bit. Just to give me like where I'm gonna start and stop kind of thing, okay? Because uh, his front of his mouth, or face, I guess, for the mouth, it's gonna be like that, and it's gonna connect over there. So I just wanted to define a few little pieces to give myself some start-stop points is basically what I wanted to do. Something like that. That's a little, a little more egg shape than I wanted, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. All right, so I'm gonna draw the bottom of his chin. Something like this for his teeth, his tooth is. I'm gonna go ahead and define a little bit of it by going, let's see, kind of something like this. And then it looks like it comes down. There's one of these. And something like that. Let's draw like a little center line like this. Okay. Awesome. Let's see, there's a little bit of something like that there. Woof, mine's looking cool. How's yours looking? Awesome. Okay, so it's going back to the back of his neck, something like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna build off of this, and I've got this arm up, and then this one out. This one's out, so it's gonna be kind of in front, so there's only so much I can add before I gotta stop to do that. So, I'm gonna do his shoulder like that. There's his shoulder piece. So I'm going to go ahead and, and, and add that in real quick just to define this edge. And it does have a little bit of extra armor uh, detail so I'm going to add little extra bumps like that. And let's go ahead and define those real quick. Um, usually I do that with color but uh, this is pretty well defined so I'm going to uh, I'm going to um, accent that real fast. Just to do something like that, okay? All right, so let's see. So I'm gonna draw the arm, that way I can draw what's underneath and then draw from there. Because you always wanna draw what's in front, that way when you're, when you're drawing what's behind, you only have to draw so much of it, not every single thing, you know? And plus you don't wanna draw through what you're doing. So I've got his arm bent coming through like this, down to the elbow, it's bent right there to his uh, um, uh, wrist gauntlet, I guess. Like that. And you draw it up to the next little, uh, I wanted to call it a spiral, cylinder. Next little cylinder piece, like that, go down to his elbow. And then this hand, you're pretty much just gonna draw the side of it like that. So we're gonna draw the bottom of the hand to the pinky, and then come up, like that. Now the rest of the fingers are pretty much behind the pinky, so there's only so much you gotta draw. Obviously we're not drawing the thumb, so we're just gonna build up from there. There's the ring finger, bring it in, middle finger, bring it in, index finger, Close it off. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. See, once we did that, now I can define a few more things here. Um, let's see, do I wanna draw that red line? No, I don't wanna draw the red line. So his, he's got a really cool red patch all the way through his uh, costume, but I wanna do that with color. If I do it now with a uh, um, Sharpie, it'll, it'll it, it'll, it'll accent it a little bit too much. So the same thing, they're, they're on his fingers right there. I wanna do that with color. I don't wanna do that with this. But I am gonna draw creases and folds from where you know his, his cloth is, is a little, a little uh, bent. Okay, um, let's see. Now, let's draw his chest armor. So, let's see. Okay, so his neck is gonna be in like this. He's bent. So I can draw, well not bent, but he's at an angle is what I'm trying to say. So I can draw some of the armor like this. 
let's go ahead and define this edge over here before I start just drawing all kinds of crazy stuff. And you don't even know where we are. Okay. Back it does. And this is what I, was, what I meant by drawing all kinds of crazy stuff because he's got really cool armor, but you know, it, it, uh, it, uh, um, is just a whole bunch of crazy defined lines. So that's why I didn't want to lose you with, uh, extras. Ooh, you know what? Let's do his shoulder pad real fast and then we'll add some detail in his, uh, chest plate. So let me add this detail over here like we did on this one. Okay, and see, let's add some bumps. See, this is coming over. All right. And again, see, see how there's not much we can do here because it's covered up and that's okay. But you know, it's good to draw what's in front first so you can define what's drawable, so to speak. All right, so this arm is just sticking out. I got it kind of in a, in a dramatic pose out like that. So I'm gonna just draw like we did there. We're gonna draw cloth to the elbow and then to the wrist piece. So we're gonna draw the, the cylinder, the edge of it basically. Okay, and again, because it's material, I'm gonna draw some creases and folds just to show that it's cloth. You know, it's not hard-edged armor like that. It's his suit. Okay, so same thing. We're gonna draw the wrist gauntlet, so to speak, to his cylinder. And then his hand, I just have pretty much out like that. Nothing, nothing too crazy, but uh, But yeah, just uh, something like this. A little thin there, that's okay. We're just gonna draw the other fingers and that'll kind of hide, uh, um, I guess, the thinness. Uh, let me add some, some lines here because it is a little, a little uh, lopsided. But that's okay, because you know what? It's okay, we make mistakes, and this is how I draw. You draw how you draw, and we'll meet somewhere in between. It's no big deal. So don't ever worry about if yours looks perfect or right or, or wrong, or you know what, just have fun and just keep drawing. Okay? So there, a little few little lines, and we just made it our own. All right, so his, his little belt thing, and this is how it is with all the common Riders, is crazy. So I don't know what all these specific details are. I'm just going to kind of draw what I see and uh, hopefully I'm going to get close. It's almost too much little details. This is like the most intricate one I've seen because I've been drawing, I've been going backwards. I started with the most recent and then I started drawing the older ones. And so this one has a lot of crazy detail in it. Okay. If you say so. If you say so, five, five, fives. If you say so. All right, let me draw the back of his belt, coming back here like this. And that means he's drawing his back like that. He's hunched over like that. And let's see. So now we're gonna draw the suit. Um, there's more to it. There's a lot more, hang on. But let me add a little bit of detail into this, uh, into this crazy detailed uh, um, a, a belt. Uh, what would you call it, buckle piece? I mean, I get it though, they're toys. I, I know, I, I get the whole idea. And I think it's genius. That's so great to uh, design uh, 
based on a toy that's going to be sold because it's done, it's ready, you can start selling them and uh, you can wear basically the same belts that the common Riders are wearing and that's amazing. When I was growing up we all wanted lightsabers and you know, you, of course you never get one but now if you want a belt, if you want to look like, you know, uh, um, a common Rider, you know, you can actually get something that's that's so genius, it's so good, so smart. But also that means it's a lot of stuff I don't understand. So, so there we are. All right. So now again, this pretty much just cloth down to his uh, um, boots. So I'm gonna draw leg like this down to his shin because he's got like this uh, connector thing on this boot. Um, let me draw his knee pad real fast before I forget that. There we go. I just want to define it real fast. And let me do this. Let me... Uh, we'll come back to that, but I want to give myself an edge to start working from. That way we know where we are and what I can build off of. A start-stop point is what I really call them. Okay, there's his crotch. And now, uh, because his legs are spread out like this, I like to draw like uh, um, stress lines is basically what I call them. And that's basically because the material is stretched out from being in such a dramatic uh, um, stance. Okay, does that make sense? Awesome. Okay, um, we'll finish up this boot because it doesn't have as much as on this one, and then we'll come back. So, that's a mess. Let me fix, fix that too. Hang on. I added too many lines. There we go. That'll kind of even it out. And again, because it's kind of like a rubber suit, it doesn't hurt to add you know, some stress lines of, uh, of it being all, all bent like this. There we go. Guess we'll just have to color that in. Okay. There we go. All right, so let me, let me finish this, this boot, like I said. So it's going to come down. Almost like his wrist. He's got, like, those cylinders on the edge there. Now this one... Something like this on the front. Okay. I'm gonna draw the heel. Leave room for a, uh, a sole. Let's see the top. Oh, I see. Kind of cool. Something like this. Give him a little cool looking sole here. That's awesome. I like this guy. Again, little creases and folds. Oops, I got a little crazy there. Let me clean that up. A little bit of creases and folds just to show that it's material. Um, that's armor. Not worried about that. That's armor. This is a, a heel. There we go. Okay. Now, for this foot, it is... A little uh, there's a there's an attachment on this side again I'm looking at a picture and don't know what it is but uh, we can draw it so I'm gonna draw like we did there this little armor piece down it's going over but then it's gonna start to connect to all this stuff so I have to kind of leave room for it basically and again I don't know what it is so it can only make it look as much as I can like the actual thing. Okay, that's going to connect to, let's see, down here. Something like that. I'm going to go ahead and draw the inside of his leg. 
And on top of this, there's still one more thing. So, and this looks like it's floating. I don't think it's connected. Again, I apologize if I'm not getting this right. I'm trying, but it's something like that. So I'll add some extra detail in a second. Let me just finish up the boot here. Okay, that's that kind of little thing. And then the front of his shoe. heel like we did there, a little space heel, connect anything that's not connected, and let me add some extra little detail just to try to make it, you know, a little uh, space detailed out, something like that. This has some kind of writing right there, don't know what it is. You don't have to add all this because, like I always say, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw, and we'll meet somewhere in between. I'm just kind of giving you a little bit of extra um, because it, it's in that detail, and I want to do something about it. All right. Um, let's see. I am going to add these red stripes. Uh, like I was talking about in there, there are red stripes that go throughout his costume. This I kind of want to add. And that's there, that'll go to there, that'll go to there. And let me add again a few little extras. Just some stress on the material. Okay, so there we go. I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is Common Rider 555. So here's my colored version. You can color it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used, or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw, and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures on how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.